Huda Pikachu here with a, another unboxing. Yeah, I know. Another unboxing after a week. So, when I get product, I'll start unboxing on the channel. I had to wait like an hour to open this because I had friend, a friend come over and see me. So, I had to pick, he had to pick some money up and stuff. So, we're going to do more than an unboxing though. I'm going to quickly go over or try and go over the Shields of Astroya Ventus or not Ventus, uh, Darkest Pyrus Orlis deck that I picked up over a month ago. Now, I have the Bakugan and the other cards that I gave to my friend on me currently today. So, I will quickly go through it after I go through the Baku Gear deck. So, this is the Darkest Feral deck that's exclusive to Target. I am not, I'm literally just gonna chuck the Feral deck. Like, if I could, I would, I might record me just chucking it in the closet. So, I'm gonna just rip into this because I need to get content out and last week was the garganoid clip i believe i think i had it set up for i don't know i forget half the time that i put up for content so the cards the giant baku core the small baku cores which i think i don't have either of them it's feral the small bits as a jet the YouTuber Jack Kusa, the YouTuber Jack Kusa would call them small bits. The large small bits, which is my custom name for these. The giant silent spears. So let's chuck the trash behind me. Oops, and take off the back, because I collect the backs of these. Someday there will be a wall that's just all the backs to the Bakugan that I've collected with my friends. So, where's the arrow on this? Oh, there is no arrow. Alright. Alright. I haven't seen a Deca Bakugan in forever. Like, last time I saw one was like a trap Bakugan. So I'm gonna quickly put these on. So this is Feral's Deca in Darkest. Double checking the camera. Yeah. So I have my light right here next to me. Just trying to adjust it. So Feral's Deca and then his giant Bakugan, which will stay on my desk. I really dislike Decas. Like, this makes it so much easier to see, but it's so much bigger than it needs to be. So I'm going to leave this like this, right there, and Feral Core, so much smaller. I know, there's very bad lighting, I'm going to do my best with what I have. Let's try moving my lights up and over. That looks a little bit better. Alright, so I'm going to go through the cores first. Comes with, Feral Core is a, uses Helix and Shield, or Fist. Yeah, I know, stuttering, always great. So, the Helix core that comes with is the Shadow Strike core, and the Fist core is the plus two damage core. Now, it comes with the Dark, the character card is from Fusion, or the, uh, the card it comes with is from Fusion Force. It is the Darkest Destroyers, it's two energy, Baku gear, that gives Shadow Strike. It's a Darkest gear, as, as you can see. I know, I'm being an idiot. <sighs> Not used to recording still, it's been a couple weeks, but you know. It gives plus 200 B, plus 1 damage rating. It's the darkest gear. It'll probably just go into storage. So now, Darkest Feral. It's a little bit better than the Oralist one. Well, for damage and B power. It's a 600 B and 5 damage. And it's Helix Shield, as you see. So. Oof. That did not look good. The head kind of popped up. So, Darkest Feral. It feels a little bit different than the Oralist one, which is here in my current my case or my clip it looks a little different does it i'm looking at them both there is a little bit of silver in here I'm trying to get it to focus yeah it's best i can get i mean like it, they're cool. It's a cool Bakugan, give or take. Like, let's put these. Let's put a Silent Spears on though. Feral's Baku gear. Its main one is the Silent Spears, but the Orlis one did not come out currently. So that is Darkest Feral Core. It will be used in Tournament Two coming up in November, where everyone's gonna have new decks. I my we're gonna have we have Games Life with his new Mono Darkest, which I'm building him. Mine is going to be Darkest. Orlis or Aquas Pyrus Orlis. Just gonna stick with that Pyrus and our Orlis theme, Aurelius theme. So now that I've gotten through the Feral, we will go through the starter deck from Shields of Astroya for 
Pyrus or Lestarkis. So now, the reason I didn't get this out as soon as possible is because I forgot I could have recorded it for content. So this is Darkus Enoch Nilius. It's Mono Darkus. It looks not terrible, but not great either. I also cannot see when I while I'm recording, so it's really hard to tell. Seeing if I could fo yeah, I could have focused on the cards in the back. But you know, it's got the double darkest symbols, it's mono darkest. Darkest Enoch, this is a main fusion. So what I call a main fusion is the main factions from the Bakugan's um, counterparts. So Nilius and Enoch are both Orlis Bakugan, or Darkest Bakugan. Same with Sidious and Scoporus, which you guys have seen me use this in games, or have you you've seen it in the games. This is my Pyrus, Sidious, Darkest, Scoporus, or Scorporos, which you guys have seen open. It's a pirate. It's ma it, this is a main infusion too. I think so. The Nilius Enoch isn't mine, sadly, but you know we're we're gonna deal with that. So you guys can kind of see I'm at my desk again. So I'm gonna roll out the last Bakugan part of it, Orlis Hydrus Ultra, which I love the gold paint on this. It's not bad. It's great in my opinion. I actually really like it. So. Next into the cores, these is a rough. This is a rough estimation of what the cores were. If I if I can get them right, I would have. But I know it came with two fusion cores or two helixes. So it comes with the frost strike box. Oof! There's my headphones. My expensive headphones. So it comes with the frost strike Baku core. Comes with plus 300 shield, minus 100 shield, fusion core. From helix for helix plus 300 if it's attached to a fusion to frost strike and plus 300 b plus 200 b core and a fusion core again plus three damage and when it's attached to a fusion plus four damage as well so next we're getting into the bakugan cards some of these are sleeved because they're indexed and i do not want to unsleeve them at the current moment so we're going to go over the hydras hydras orless hydras is a 600 b four damage rating shield helix not bad Cindius Scoporus, I gotta unsleeve quickly, or one of them. It is a, which I think I've gone over this box on too. It is a shield helix as well. Pyr Mono Pyrus on its main side from Shield of Destroy. It's 4 damage rating and 300 B, 2 diffuse. Its fuse side looks amazing. It's a 707, 700 B, 7 damage fusion. Starkest Pyrus. One of my favorite cards from Shields, or character cards so far in the fusions. Now we go into Nilius and Enoch's fusion. Four damage, four energy to fuse. It's a shield and flaming fist. 500 B, two damage. Now its other side is dual darkest. So it's mono darkest, Bakugan. Gotta look great. It is 900 B and seven damage. It's not the greatest fusion for four. So now I'm gonna go through what I have for some of the cards. So I'm gonna go through the, some of the dark, all the darkest cards first. Then I'll go through all the pyres. So I gotta go through this and sort out everything so i'm actually gonna go through this one quick first uh the orlis are gonna go first because i want to get those done as well i think that's about it I'm going through the all my cards my stack of cards here no i forgot one all right the rest of this should be pyrus so pyrus cards darkest so darkest this is really weird for me because i don't know which one to do first so i'm gonna start with the orlis Aurelian Accelerator. It's a 6 energy, 400 B, 4 damage, 4 armor rating, which means it will absorb, it goes up to 5. It's an Orlis gear. It's not the greatest. It's one of the only gears. Um, we have Orlis Hydrus. Or Orlis Titan Hydrus Ultra. It's 4 energy, 1200 B, Baku Evo, 6 damage. When it's if the opposing player if an opposing player has reduced damage with armor rating this turn, you may play it for free. So with Aurelian Accelerator, if Aurelian Accelerator flips your damage on my opponent's side, per se, Titan Hydrus will be played for free. As you can see, my desk is a little bit of a mess. So next we have two of the card Golden Wall. It's a stop and non-fusion Bakugan and Orlis for three. Probably one of the best flip cards in the game, in my opinion. We have, and then we have for the last Orlis card, Pyrostorm, trademarked. Okay. Two energy. Reveal the top four cards of your deck. You may put up to one action, but gear, Evo, and hero card revealed this way into your hand. Put the rest in the bottom of your deck in any order. Great card. One of my favorites from Age or Shields of Destroy so far. Next up, the Orlis card. So the Orl, uh, Darkest Black. Sorry about the stuff. So dual Darkest Diamond Enoch, Diamond Nilius X Enoch. Sorry. Five energy. 
1200 B, 8 damage, so Evo for a fuse. It's not great. You're paying 9 for that altogether. There is two of each of the rest of these cards in my hand. So Unholy Bow, one armor rating, two energy, 100 B, one damage, and Darkest. Now that's for the rest of the cards to, that be don't belong to me. The rest of the cards I do own. So now I can start going through a little bit easier. We got two of Tailing Dragon. Two, plus 200 for 3 energy, plus 200 and B, and plus 4 damage. If you energize this from your hand, you may pay 2 energy to draw a card. So, next up is the card Dark, Darkest Glare. It's a 1 energy, minus 2 damage, and Darkest. I know, if I'm messing up a bit, don't worry. I will get better at this. I will better equipment eventually. Uh, if you played this on a Fusion Bakugan, minus 8 damage instead. It's not bad. Um... Darkest cards, that's right. Uh, let's do that, do that. Alright, it's next to me. The Darkest Evo, Melhem, or Havoc, as I'd like to call him instead from the show. Uh, one energy, if you fuse a Bakugan, give a Bakugan plus, two plus 200 B and plus 2 damage rating. It's not that bad, it's kind of good. Like, depending on your situation, like if you're playing a deck that only fuses and unfuses Bakugan the entire game, it's useful. But if you're not doing that, it's not the greatest. Uh, weapons of darkness or darkest. It's a, a darkest. Oops, sorry. It's a darkest uh, flip that gives that stops a darkest or fusion Bakugan, and it, the deck comes with two. Uh, Melham, there's one of uh, a card. Throw anything. Plus four hundred B. Oops. Uh, two energy plus four hundred B and plus and gives shadow strike. And there's two of it. You know, Artulian on the art. You know, we don't get Artulian at all in, in Bakugan status. Five energy darkest scion. Rapid fire plus seven hundred plus seven hundred B. It's not the greatest rapid fire. I mean, it's a it's a card that exists. Next up is uh, I'm running out of card. I'm almost done actually. Uh, Stinging web snare. There is two of it. It is a two energy darkest pyrus fusion card. I'll try and move my light a bit. Can I move it around? I know I'm doing horrible at this today. It gives plus 200B and plus 6 damage. It's actually not that bad. Like, I kind of like the card, but I don't use it in my decks because I don't have a use yet. So, there's two of it in here. It's Stinging Web Snare. There is one of this Rapid Fire card, Darkest Pyrus Pulverizer. It's a 5 energy action, plus 5 damage, then return this to your hand with Rapid Fire. It's not the greatest. I mean, it exists as a card. You can technically double play it, You or triple play it. You could play it three times in a turn, technically. Five energy. You play. You have um, Dragonoid Skater Supreme out already. You can get plus 15 energy from that one card. It's not that bad. It's really good. Uh, Meteor Storm. It's three energy. Plus four damage and draw a card. There's two of it. It's Pyrus Darkest. And now on to the Pyrus cards. I'm going to go over what I have sleep first. There is two of the card Burn Cutter. Oops. It's one or three energy, one armor rating, plus one, or one hundred B and five damage. It's not the greatest card. I can turn my lamp off soon. Oh no, my lamp I'm using for recording. Next we have energy sphere. It's a rapid fire card for one. You may reroll your Bakugan. You guys have seen this card in some of the decks. You guys have seen Lava Blade as well. It's a rapid fire card. I didn't realize actually how much rapid fire was in this. I didn't expect any. I just forgot. Two two hundred B, four damage, two armor rating for five. Two of it. Volatile Instincts. Three energy plus six damage. If you energize uh, this from your hand, you may pay two energy to draw a card. And now the last two sleeved cards, and then I will go through what's left. Flames of Ambition. Three energy. It is a bronze rarity. Plus three AP, plus three damage, and then plus three damage for each fusion on your team. So you're dealing three minimum for three. If you're using one fusion, you get six damage. The max you can get off this card is twelve. I don't see people using three fusions ever. I can only see people maybe using one or two if, if you're trying. Like, and that's my opinion, you know? Like, I don't see people many, many people using fusions yet. Then we have Reality Ripper. Five energy, darkest action, plus ten, da plus ten damage. Choose a player to discard a card for each fusion you have on your team. It's bronze rarity as well. So these go into a different pocket. These go into deck, back into decks. Next up, we are going through the rest of the deck. Which, there's two of everything. So, Burning Cloud. It's a 4 energy Pyrus Flip. 
I don't even know if I said the name right, but whatever. Stop a non-fusion bot gun if you do. Make a pyrus attack for two damage. It's burn for two. It's not the greatest. Mega pyrus, zero energy, pyrus action, two damage. If you played it on a fusion, plus five damage instead. It's two of it. If I'm repeating, I'm sorry, but I'm nervous still and getting used to this. I know I say that a lot, but it is true. And then nuclear pummel is the last card in the deck. There's two of it. It's four energy for plus ten damage. So that's basically the decks. I gotta move this. Turn off my lamp. Hopefully the burning smell will go away from that. I know. Like, not the best, but you know. <laughs> gotta do what you gotta do. So that was the two products that I had to open today. Now, a little bit of another serious talk here. Let's see if I can get the camera around to see my face. So, currently, right now, Pro openings are going to be harder to do. I know what I'm trying to- I'm trying to get as much content as I can out each week. Two days a week. It does get hard to do. So, Monday- tournaments will stop after tournament game 6. It is- I have game 4 ready- or game 3 went up yesterday- or last week. Game 4 goes up this past this month- went up this past Monday. Or, I'm saying this as the- when this comes out, it- Game 4 will be out the Monday before this comes out. I'm trying my best. Game 3, I'm going... I hopefully, future me, please tell me you edited Game 3 be, and finished it. That game, I do have to go around because I did finish it after the last video last week. So I didn't really get to explain. So, I was on the time crunch again. I procrastinated like I usually do. It's 90% of the stuff I do. So I did not get it done fully in time. I got the bracket in, all I had to do was add the intro. The intro will be added in eventually, if I have the time. I'm currently con more concerned about other game, other stuff getting done. Tournament 2 will- Tournament 3, which will be next- up upcoming in January, in 2021, will be hopefully a 2v2 tournament. Games will be recorded before the uh, all-in-one mass, if I can, like tournament- what, like what will happen with Tournament 2. But this is just a little peek in the future. So, I am working on currently, I don't know if I finished yet, if you, uh, past me, please, or future me, please tell me you finished these as well. Uh, Zekatron Gaming's deck. I have to work on, build that, or work on figuring out his, because he doesn't own his own yet. I have finished Games Life and Ninja Gamers' new decks. I am proud of Ninja Gamers. I fixed, I think I fixed the card draw problem. I just don't have the Bakugan to test it at this current moment in time as recording of this. I do not own a Tertonium Ultra, period. I need to pick one up, and I know I can find one. I don't care the faction. I will be treating it as a Ventus. Because if, with the tournaments, if we don't, so what's going on is, since, so Games Life doesn't own the Nilius Ultra from last year. I do, so he's been using mine. But if none of us own the specific Bakugan, um, or we don't own the right faction of the Bakugan, we are going to use a different faction, but treat it as such as it is this faction used in the deck. I am working my hardest to get content out, and it really hurts when I can't get something done, because that's on me. I know. But, Tournament 1, almost done with. The last, uh, bracket, I will not show bracket 4 or 5 yet. I'm gonna wait until I have everything all set, then I will start showing some of the brackets in general in some other videos, like, this coming Friday? Right, the Friday after this is uploaded, I will probably be streaming on my Twitch. It really depends. Or, I think... Because I'm going to start uploading, because the school, the district I went to last year, so when I grad after graduated, the school district I went to, they have half days on Wednesdays, so I think Wednesdays from now on will be streaming on Twitch in the afternoon, some Bakugan games, or just us messing around, and that will be not censored. Like, our, our voices will be spoken. Like, if we swear, we swear. I prefer not to swear on the channel. I really prefer not to. I just feel better about it. So, Twitch, my Twitch cha channel is not added yet. It will be added. By the, It will definitely be added by the time of this going up. So actually, while I'm doing this, I need to add it. So let me go to my Twitch account. I don't- I have not done anything on my Twitch yet, so my Twitch is kind of, like, blank. 
I have not used my Twitch yet. So, oh no. All right. So, I have to wait on my Twitch. So, as of right now, games will continue. Everything will continue. Masks will be worn to show we do care. Like, I feel better about wearing a mask anyway. So, kind of have to cut this off now. But if I come up with anything else, I will add it on to the end of this. So, oh, this happened recently. But, you know, well, some future content, actually. I will go quickly. Just kind of not trying to progress at the end. But Pokemon cannot wait. October 22nd is going to be the expansion passes release for the Crown Tundra. It was revealed the morning of this record video going or being recorded, which is Tuesday, September 29th, 2020. So the expansion passes date was revealed, and then two Pokemon codes were revealed, and I will put them on screen. Try to, or it will cut off my voice right, right there. So I was quiet for a second to kind of show where I need to go when I'm editing um i will put the codes up for the two pikachu that are currently out and i will put um because i played pokemon sword and pokemon shield i bought the expansion i got the expansion pass back when it first right like the day before it came out i got uh the current isle, isle of armor i gotta move my chair down a bit because i'm getting annoyed so and then i think some future content might be some alicization lacoris for Sword Art Online, or maybe some Law Song, Hollow Realization, Hol or Hollow Fragment, Hollow Realization, Fatal Bullet. One of the SAO games. I'll probably choose, uh, for Twitch streaming specifically, Hollow Fragment, because I have not, I haven't finished it in English. I beat, I am proud to say that I have beaten a Japanese game. It is a lot harder in Jap Japanese. So, that's just a little sneak peek. I know I do these sneak peeks a little bit more often, but it's fun. It's kind of like give you guys teasers of what's going to happen soon, or just kind of updates. So I'm going to end this here, and hope everyone has a nice day. Put a Pikachu out. Put a Pikachu here. Now, this is an add-on to the video that this I've already recorded. So Pokemon codes, this is a little bit of the Pokemon codes. So the Hoenn Cat Pikachu was revealed, I think, uh, October 2nd. I know, it looks, I'm looking off to the side, it's because I'm looking at my thing. So I'm currently going to add that one too, if I can find my mouse. So, <laughs> I know I look like a disaster. I kind of like woke up a couple hours ago and I haven't done too much. So, let's see if I can screenshot. I'm still new to having a computer, so I might have to screenshot it through my iPad. So. This is a little add-on to the video, so, because a third Pikachu was revealed, it was the Hoenn cap, yeah, and it looked very different, <laughs> especially with my hair being a little bit messed up. I'm playing some Animal Crossing for the past, like, two days. I, look, I can't stream my, my Switch, because I have the Switch Lite. Let's see if I can get, actually get a focus on my, my game. Yeah. I keep date spamming, so don't mind the date, but I got the special edition Pokemon console, so I don't have a normal Switch, so I can't really stream my Switch at all, so kind of sucks, but Animal Crossing's fun. I like it. Um, so, as an addition to Dex, I have not had a chance to test out Ninja Gamers deck. I've tested out Games Life deck. It was tested out the Wednesday after this video was recorded, so like September 30th? I know, I'm a mess. Like, <laughs> I look like a disaster. I feel like one too. Like, I feel like a disaster. I had a crazy night. Um, I'm not gonna even go on that. This was, this is recorded October 6th, so like a week later. Um, so at this current moment we have three Pikachus, and I think the next one is revealed in a couple days. Uh, let me go to my trusty, the trusty Pokemon site I've been using, Saruri.net. Um, gotta find the thing for it. If I can. I think, I don't know. Like, I can't find it. 
crap. So, check a different place. Um, so yeah, like, I'm really excited to get this video out. I know this past month, the, pa the Monday before this part was recorded, I did not upload any content. I'm, I'm giving one sec to get some light. So, yeah, I was kind of caught up in a bunch of things yesterday, or, this was recorded doc Tuesday, October 6th, so yesterday, which was Monday, I did not put any content out, like, yesterday as of this video being recorded, I did not get video content out, and I'm really sorry, and that was on me, I did not have the time, I had a bunch of things to do in the morning, and then I went out with a couple friends in the afternoon, throughout till the night and yeah that's why I kind of feel like a disaster I played some cards against humanity I feel like, like six rounds of that so yeah I know like in the morning I was getting a bunch of stuff put together I was building um ninja or Zekatron gaming's or Zeke's deck for tournament two so I'm doing my best, like, it's hard when I don't get content out. I really am depressed, like, it, or not depressed, I'm kind of sad that I can't get it done. So, I'm trying. Don't ridicule me for any content not getting out. I do reply to some comments on my videos as well. I'm mainly, if you can point out something I did wrong, like, someone did, I'm not going to, like, shout them out, but someone the other day, I was looking, or yesterday I was looking through the channel stuff, like I do on my Monday, on Monday before, because I, I start recording, or I start editing on Sunday for Monday's video, and I could not get that done because I had made plans prior with one of my friends, and his friend got into an accident, so I couldn't go out, and that was, and I start, I start editing by 10.30 in the afternoon, or 10.30 in the morning. On Sundays for Monday video because my computer does crash a lot. It's an old. It's it works for what it needs to, and I'm really happy that I have a computer. So if anything else comes out before this video comes out, I will add it on as a separate piece. It is hard to edit videos together, especially with my computer. So like I've been playing Animal Crossing. Like I'm not gonna stream Animal Crossing if I really don't want it. I date spam a lot just to get a bunch of the stuff done. It's not cheating. It's a part of the Switch, and they really should have thought about that. Um, so, the Pikachus. I have it right here, a little bit farther up in my Discord, which I don't... I think my Discord is linked in general. So, the Sinnoh Cap will be coming out in three days, so... Sixth... I think... Wednesday, Thursday... I think this fr coming Friday is the Sinnoh Cap, October 9th. For the Pokemon Sword and Shield events, for the Sino for the Pikachu so with the caps, I have all but the the World Cap, which is the last one for Pokemon Journeys, which I wasted my Saturday watching that. <laughs> A waste of time, kid you not. I really did waste time. So yes, I did cut off because I had to check my iPad's percentage. I'm at 23% for this bit for the rest of my iPad, and I gotta plug it in. I'm plugged in in a couple days, so. Then, after the Sinnoh Cap, on October 9th, we have the Unova Cap on October 16th, which is another week after. Which is another Friday. And then the Kalos Cap comes out on a s Monday, which is October 18th, which is three days later, or two days later. So wait, October 16th is a Friday, 17th is a, so Sunday, not, not Monday, Sunday, October 18th. Then the Alola Cap. Pikachu comes out October 23rd, which is a Friday, the day after the Crown Tundra release. Well, the supposed, but we all know, like, Pokemon Company and Nintendo, if you play the game, if, if you play the Switch, or you play the 3DS, like, or you know the Pokemon Company, like, in general, they don't stick to dates. Spin Master has that same problem. They don't stick to release dates, and it really annoys me. But the good thing about Pokemon is it's, normally if they stick to a release date, it might come out earlier than planned so yeah can't wait for the crown tundra then at the day before halloween which is a f the f so halloween's on saturday this year 
October 31st is a Saturday, and we got COVID-19 going on. So, October 30th, the Friday before Halloween, we get the last Pikachu cap. And somewhere during this month, we will get a limited event raid, which I'm going I'm going off of a YouTuber, Austin John Plays. He's thinks that, well, we kind of can figure it's going to, in general, anyone can figure out that when we get the limited events, we get it between, like, in the middle of the month and this time, this month around. The month, the weekend is going to be before the release or after the release of Crown Tundra, which is, like, right before and right after. Which I have to sleep on my Switch because it's almost dead. I don't charge my devices up until night. Like, it's either my phone or my iPad gets plugged in. Because I have iPhone, and I'm getting rid of it soon, getting an Android, which is going to be great for help, for doing anything. Like, because my phone's already broken enough. So, um, then, so yeah, it's, so, we get, and I think, well, going back to, because I didn't finish my comp, my statement. Going off of the Crown Tundra, the, for the Crown Tundra release, and it being right in between, co what, the supposed limited raid weekends, um, it's the it. I want to say going off Austin John. Austin John plays a YouTuber I watch for Pokemon content, like raid events going out for Pokemon Sword and Shield. He does other content, but um, he believes that it's going to be Venusaur and Blastoise Gigantamaxes because those are the only other two Gigantamax Pokemon that haven't been in raids. And they're not gonna, the Pokemon Company's not gonna release a bunch of Urshifu G-Maxes into Dens. That's really stupid, because it's a legendary Pokemon. Or, legendary. Um, yes, I know. I haven't fixed my hair yet today. It's a disaster. I'm trying to fix it too while I'm doing this. So, and then we have Gigantamax Melmetal, which is the only other Gigantamax, the only Gigantamax I need. I have every other Gigantamax in Sword and Shield, and I have... When you have a bunch of unknowns, like level 100 unknowns, it's really easy to trade in the GTS on Pokemon Home. That's how I got all oh, the type nulls that I still have to evolve. And I got the last of my Cub Foos I needed and Urshifus. So I have four Urshifus, two of the dark and two of the water. I have one more Gigantam to make Gigantamax. I have an entire living dex besides Zarud. Zarud is the last Pokemon, and I really hope they release one release it before the crown tundra it's the only pokemon left i'm missing for my living decks because i have an entire living decks for sword for pokemon from from v from uh bulbasaur to urshifu every form gender differences i could so gender differences between gender differences gigantamax megas stuff like that that's the differences like there's like 1,300 Pokemon in my living decks, and I fucked it up. Or, crap. I screwed it up already. I'm sorry. I'm not going to edit this video today. Like, I am half asleep, and I haven't had my caffeine yet. And it is 9.45 in the morning on a Tuesday, and it's disgusting. Like, I feel drained after last night. Got home at like 9 o'clock and went straight to bed. Because... I did not feel like doing anything. Like, I played Animal Crossing for- Like, I went in- I laid down in bed and played Animal Crossing for about half an hour and fell asleep. And, yeah. I'm trying to block my- I'm making sure my TV's not in view. So, because I'm watching YouTube and I don't- I, I always have my, my TV on with YouTube. With my PS4. So, coming up- to, to, when this video goes up, it's a small unboxing of the Darkest Deck of Feral, as you've already seen. Yeah, I know. It's recorded a couple days later. I'm trying my best. The next unboxing or content will be next Monday. I just need an extra week anyway. Because the tournament games are going to be held back. I have one game left pre-recorded, and that's game four. I don't have game five or six, which is the last two. Game five will be Zekatron Gaming versus Ninja Gamer. Game 6 will be the final game of Tournament 1. Tournament 2 will be pushed back to, I think, January, which is why I planned Tournament 3. Because, huge change of plans. My friend Nathaniel is not coming back for Thanksgiving, so it's going to be really hard to record. 
because now I have to redo the entire bracket I had almost done, which I'm not going to show because I strapped it. The whole point was, so I have to, my tr group trusts me to judge games like you've seen in previous tournament games. I'm doing my best. If I forget one little thing, oh well, like the last game, t game three, someone pointed out that the Baka cores weren't placed back. Um, uh, Games Life did not place his Baka cores back at the end of the game. Well, the la one of the last few turns. When he, when all his Baka gone closed, I looked into it, and yes, because someone did comment, all Baka, when a Baka gone closes, Baka cores go back to the field. I didn't know that initially, before, like, I started doing the tournament, but then I started, I've been looking into the rules more, because I need to be more open to knowing how the game works. Because I'm trusted as a judge in my group, and I'm really proud to say that. Because I am the butt of almost every joke in my group, in general. And the fact that when we're recording, the taunting does stop. And it's like, I'm about to cry, because I really like my group, but it's hard to stay with them. Because they do joke, they do make fun of me a lot. But the fact that they choose me to judge their games is enough to say that I have a great group because I've had this group since my sophomore year of high school and half of my group does not play the game like my initial friend group from school does not play Bakugan <laughs> yeah I know I'm getting emotional so what I'm like I'm a per I'm a human being we get emotional so I have to still finish editing game one as well or game three I put that up prematurely. I should have pu pushed it back a week. That's the week I should have pushed back. I had recording on Monday. Started recording on Monday, which is not what I sh should have been doing. I screwed up that one. I know. I did not add the intro. I did not put the description in. <laughs> and I just put the tournament brackets in and the music, and that was it. And I really regret because now I screwed up that. I have to fix the entire thing. I don't know if I have Game 3 still on my computer. I should actually look into that. So, sooner or later, Pokemon content will start. Oops, that's helpful. Just got invited to a round, to a Discord server for, because I play Minecraft. I have a round, I'm part of, I'm one of the admins on a realm. We have three admins for majority rule on anything that happens so with the realm i cannot record stuff on my switch when i get minecraft on my computer or i will start streaming me playing on my realm but my switch is my admin account or my general i have i have an admin because i was the original owner of the first realm this is our second my group's second realm we play i play a lot of minecraft when i am on my downtime when I'm not do recording or not having to edit. I know I'm going into rants, but this whole point of this specific set of two videos that I have to add on was for the Pikachus. And now I'm ranting and I don't like that. So to kind of sum up what's going on, Zeke's deck, Zekatron Gaming's deck's deck, I have a list of cards I'm going to put into it. I don't have a full deck list because I don't want to build his deck right now. I think I'm, I'm putting myself too much over my, like, I'm biting off more than I can chew with most things. But I will give a tease of the Bakugan, it is Pyrus, Chaos, Ventus. That is the first rendition that I'm thinking of. The Vent, the Vent, the Chaos, I'm not too sure of. Specifically the Bakugan we're using is Kubo Core, the Chaos Kubo. It's not the greatest. I had to fulfill the Bakugan wishes of the person who I build decks for my group. I should really be having them pay me to build them because this is a little way to make some money. But the next unboxing I think is going to be a core Bakugan or an Ultra that in Darkest. But I might wait on that to pick up a couple because when I do single packs it takes like five minutes to do it and I really don't like having just a five minute video. It, it, it's like and I was like, I was getting emotional yesterday, the Monday, looking through the channel stuff, like just seeing 
the watch time's going up, the subscribers and views are going up steadily, and it does help because I really enjoy doing this. But when I can't get the videos out, that's on me. I'm not going to blame anyone else. That's my problem. Because of my poor planning, my poor timing, I should, I'm not putting the, my channel as a top priority. It is not to me. It is a fun thing I enjoy doing as a hobby. Now, if I can turn this into a way to make money, it will become a top priority. But right now, my top priorities are getting a job, getting my license eventually. Because, you know, I don't drive. I have everyone else drive me around. It's actually pretty fun. And, like, the stuff I do with my friends as well, these games, everything I'm doing with the channel, it's all something I enjoy. I will bring back Minecraft fun on the Wii, on Wii U, but it will be same recording quality with the iPad. It will be coming out, you know, it will be, end, like, halfway through this month, no, October, maybe, if I can do it right. If I have Minecraft on my P uh, Wii U, I don't know what happened to it. Because I also don't have a gamepad, so I can't connect it to internet, because my parents changed the internet, my family changed the internet in general. <laughs> yeah. So, I, I will try and bring Minecraft fun. If I can't do it with the PS4, I will try, or the Wii U, I will try and do it with the Switch. I don't know how well it's going to go, because I have to do it a, a weird way. But Minecraft Fun will be a survive full survival series on my Switch or the Wii U. And it's still me learning in general how to play Minecraft. Like, I still don't know some of the new blocks. Like, command, like I know how to use commands and blocks. The command blocks. Like, it's fun to see what we can do with command blocks. And there's border blocks, barrier blocks, deny, allow blocks, jigsaw, structure void, structure blocks. See, the Minecraft Fund is going to be purposely so I can get more achievements and more gamer points as well. There's all tier modes. So I'm setting myself up for a lot of different content in the future. Minecraft Fund was actually something I started, the world I started like a month or two before I started the series. That's why I had so much. But that, I can't update the world anymore to the newer updates, like Nether update. Like, because what had happened was... <laughs> Yeah, my nose is all stuck. What had happened was, internet got changed, and my Wii U game pad got chewed up by a dog, and it tore apart, because I was going to try and get a new shell, and one of the circuit ports, then another thing happened, the circuit port was chewed. There was a dent, there was a hole in the circuit board, so I could not redeem it. The screen was screwed up too, so, Wii U game pad was unsavable. I try. So, coming in the future, we got some Minecraft fun. We got the tournaments coming up soon. Tournament 2 will hopefully be in January, as long as my friend comes back from college for Christmas break, which is going to be a hectic time. But this has to work with everyone's schedules, too. It's like, it's not just my schedule. Like, I can't face him in game. And if we did video call games, I could not do fight him because that was the plan is to f me fighting my friend Nathaniel game my first game in the our first game would have been or game three in the tournament would be me versus Nathaniel but I can't do that because now stuff is prevent like COVID-19 and gas and money like it's all if ands or buts like tournament two I'm hoping I can get it out by January because I feel bad that I won't have content on Mondays. I will be streaming on Twitch on Wednesdays. Every other Wednesday, actually. Because Games Life is streaming on the opposite Wednesdays. Wednesdays I'm not. We will be hanging out in my house. Where, where I'm living right now. We pull my six foot table down. We play. We start streaming. Last Wednesday, I did stream. But I could not save the video. Like, I could not... Like... I could not salvage it because it got screwed up, but the stream did work go well. We will probably be getting like when we we all, we order food and then when the food like we'll stream for a couple hours to hope the food like we stream we order the food and the stream come starts like I think we streamed for an hour last week 
Like, it would be an hour to two hours of just playing some Bakugan chatting. Instead, like, it's just some chatting. Like, it's fun. Like, I enjoy doing it. I, I, I'm getting better at the nerve. My nerves are starting to calm down when I do this stuff. So I kind of have to get my caffeine in me. So, if anything else happens, I will add another piece to this, and I really don't want to. So if anything happens in the next, like, 16 hours, or 16 to 24, like, 16 to 32 hours, I will put another video into this. But, Hoda Pikachu, I hope that there isn't anything else. So, Hoda Pikachu, out.